can see that just by varying the size of my crochet hook changes the size of the leaf. Um, you can take the ends and pinch them and tie them to make them more of a leaf shape depending on the project you're using it for. I left these on to tie it onto the project and I left them flat because that's the look that I wanted. Um, this was using a size F crochet hook, this one using a J, this one using two strands of yarn together for the size Q uh, crochet hook which gave me this size. So I'm going to show you how to do um, kind of like a middle size using the end crochet hook. Um, the smaller ones are used uh, using one strand of yarn. The larger ones we use two strands of yarn together. So we're just going to start with making a slip knot. I'm leaving a little bit of a tail. <clears throat> We're going to chain up, and this one on our hook is considered one. We're going to chain up five. So that's one, two, three, four, and that's five. So now we're going to just single crochet, and we're going to skip one chain, and we're going to go into the next one. So we single crochet. And we're going to have one more. We're going to have three total single crochets. That's the second one. And then the third one is right there. Believe it or not, we're almost finished. Now chain up one and turn your work. So now we've got three stitches. We're skipping this one again and we're going to go into the middle stitch. This one right here. And we're just going to single crochet to start. So that's single crochet. Now we're going to half double crochet, which is wrapping your yarn, going into the same stitch, pulling up a loop so that we've got three, wrapping again and pulling through all three. So single, half double. Now we're going to have a double crochet, which is wrapping, going through the stitch, the same one, pulling up a loop so that we have three, wrapping, pulling through two, wrapping, pulling through two. So now you see that we have a single, a half double crochet, and a double crochet. Now we're going to do a treble or a triple crochet. And that one is done by wrapping your yarn twice and then going into the same stitch, pulling up a loop. So now we've got four loops on our hook. We're going to wrap again, pulling through two, so now we have three. Wrap again, pull through two. We have two loops left. Wrap again, pull through two. So you see how we're kind of progressing and going up to the point of a leaf. Now we're going to go back down this side. So we're going to do the half. Um, we have a single, half double, double, treble. Now we're going to do a double on this side, continuing in the exact same stitch. Now we do a half double, and now a single. That's it, that's your leaf. Now we're going to find the last stitch, the last single crochet hole here, and we're just going to slip stitch that. And you cut your yarn and just pull it through and knot it off. And that gives you your middle size leaf. As you can see, um, you can pinch it to make it more of a leaf shape. Um, if you don't like the hole in the center of the leaf, you can just stitch that with a yarn needle. Um, the way I've used it in the pattern, the flower petals kind of sit over the top. 